guys, it's Sherelle from El Ray Designs, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use my files. In case you guys are unaware, I did open my website finally. Uh, I did get a few requests for people saying that they would rather purchase my templates rather than take the time to make them. So I did make a website for you guys. It is lraydesigns.com. It is linked down in the description box. Um, this is for people that just don't feel like making the templates and they just want to outright buy them. So I did have that. So I do have that now. I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, use the SVGs of the templates that have score lines. Because when you, you, when you download the template for the score lines, it's not that easy to use in Cricut Design Space. There is a few extra steps you need to do. Um, if you're using Silhouette Studio, you could just upload it and you're ready to go. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that on Silhouette Studio and Cricut Design Space today. So, once you purchase your, this is my website right here. Once you go and down, once you pay for your template, you will get sent to this. And you will just pretty much download your file. Um pretty self-explanatory and then you're going to open them on the bottom you're going to extract them do that for both and then you would just move them to wherever you want your location to be i'm just going to do my desktop to make it easier and then we're going to do silhouette studio first because that's going to be the easiest so you're going to open up silhouette studio you're going to go to file open you're going to find where you put your files. We'll do the gable box. You open that. For Silhouette Studio, Studio, you are going to want to open the DXF files. So you'll click that. Hit OK. And it's going to open the file for you. And you will just do that for each one. For my gable boxes, they do come into separate files. Just because they are the larger gable boxes, um, they're not the little two to three inch ones. These are going to be six inch gable boxes, so you're going to need four pieces of paper to make these. Um, mine is running a little slow, so we're going to let that load, but it will load up eventually. Okay, so once they load up, it should look something like this, and you're just going to want to adjust the size to your liking. Um, if you want the whole six inch size, you need this. We'll go here, group everything, um, and we're going to make it the height 10.5. And then we're going to ungroup it, and then pretty much you will have to move probably this one to a different mat. So I just selected it. We're going to copy it, open up a new tab, edit paste and then move it over on your mat and then you will have this and you can delete it from this one and this one we're going to move over as well get it on the mat and then you will go to send and it'll probably pop up to the simple. You want to go to the tab that says line. And you're going to figure out what color is which. Um, the burgundy ones here, if we uncheck that, you see it disappears. That's our score line. So right here where it says um, action cut, we're going to drop that down. We're going to hit score. And then the rest, you should leave the red. is going to be cut. And then you're ready to go. You're going to do that. It will... Cut the outside for it and then score the lines. And then you'll go to the other one, this one, and do the same thing. Send. Hit line. And you double check. This one, the burgundy ones, the darker ones here, are going to be your score line. So again, change that to score. And then you're ready to go. Um, I'll also show you guys how to do the pin box as well. Uh, don't save let's close these and I'm going to open up my pen box so you guys can see how I do that okay 
can go to file open desktop look for the pen box and again open the dxf file hit okay takes a little while sometimes i have to do this just scroll over it so you can see it um this is what your pen box is going to look like and then what i do is to get the sizing correct i group everything together first so i just select everything and i group it and for the pen boxes you want the height to be 7.65 then you do enter like so and then we're going to select everything again and we could ungroup it and then you would just literally hit send and this one the sizing is already perfect we're going to go to line up here your black line is going to be car stock and then these two right here are going to be the two red ones are going to be score and that's it and you're ready to go and now i'm going to take you over to cricut design space and we're going to show you how to do it in cricut design space so you're going to go to upload upload image browse you're going to find your gable box and you are going to do the svg and hit upload and then you'll do that you will insert your image this you're going to change right here the height should be 10.5 like so and now what we need to do is we need to change this one right here with all the lines we need to change that to score so you would just highlight that group there go up here with his operation you're gonna do basic cut you're gonna change that to score and they should change it to score lines like so and then you're gonna do the same to the bottom one and go here select just this one where it says gable a for all the lines change the basic cut to score and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select And what you're going to do is you're going to select the top group, go to the bottom here, and hit Attached. This is very important because if you don't hit Attach, it's going to pretty much just separate the score lines from the box. And again, select this group, go to the bottom, hit Attach. And then when you go to Make It, it's going to have your box and your score lines right in the same right in the perfect spot where it needs to be again here same thing then you can continue and it will lead you through the process of scoring your um car stock and then cutting it out and now i'm going to show you guys how to do the pen box so you're going to upload image browse desktop look for your pen box Get the SVG, hit open, upload, insert that, that. Again, the height for the pen boxes is 7.65. So you'll get go up, up here to the top and do 7.65 for the height. There you go. We're going to ungroup everything. And then we're going to take this first group versus pen box with the lines. We're going to take that operation basic cut, change it to score. You're going to go down to the same thing. Pen box here, the group with the lines, change basic cut to score. And then we're going to take this group here and select that, hit attach. And then you're going to come here, you're going to select this one too. And then you're going to hit attach. And then when you go to send, we're going to have to make it. It's going to have everything lined up perfectly for you. So that's how you use my files. That's how you use the score lines with Cricut Design Space. As you guys can see, it's way easier to do with Silhouette Studios because it already it recognizes the score lines and it keeps it that way for you. For some reason, it doesn't keep it that way with 
um, Cricut Design Space. So you just have to change um, the lines from a cut to a score line. That's pretty much it. And then attach, attach it. So it's not that much work. Um, but that's just in case you guys purchase the file and you do not know how to use the score lines or you're confused on how to use it. That's how you use it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Um, or if you want me to message you, you can leave your email down below and I will send you an email to try to help you out. But again, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys so much for following me. Thank you so much for purchasing my files if you are purchasing my files um and please stay tuned i will have more templates out i'm gonna have more designs out soon i'm just starting this out i'm also working full time taking care of my child and trying to run my youtube page and my website now and still doing side jobs of craft stuff so yeah please bear with me while i try to get everything under control everything organized and get into a steady pace but again, I just want to thank you guys again. And like I said, any questions, leave them down below for me. I'll make sure to answer them. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye now.